Bear with me guys, my computer is slowly dying, so I don't have a camera on today. I don't know what is going on with it, but we'll get to that later. But, for years now, the entire time Ashes of Creation has been selling their cosmetics along with Alpha and Beta Access, there have been some of you that continue to jump in the comments and tell me how this game is a scam, or how this game is the next Star Citizen and is never coming out. Then the other day, I make a video talking about how Intrepid Studios announces that they will be discontinuing cosmetic packages and no longer selling pre-orders, as they've hit the player numbers that they desire for now, and they've heard the feedback on the FOMO and all of that, and we are still jumping into the comments and telling me that Ashes of Creation is a scam. So as much as I've avoided making one of these videos for the last five years, I think it's time to get to the bottom of it. If we head over to Google and ask the almighty search engine, what is a scam? It gives us a definition of a dishonest scheme or a fraud. Do these two things apply to Ashes of Creation? Well, let's dig a little deeper. In the eyes of you viewers whom think Ashes of Creation is a scam, the majority of you think that Steven is stealing your money and selling you cosmetic concept art that is never going to actually come to light. Well, you people, probably don't understand game development if you think after seven years of developing a massive MMORPG, that is enough proof of the game never coming out. Let's look at the recent Throne in Liberty beta for a second again. A game that has been almost silent for 11 years and built up a lot of hype around it just to get delayed again, more than likely because the mass population thinks it looks like absolute trash. If you put a Throne in Liberty beta boss fight next to the early pre-alpha 2 Cyclops world boss that we just saw, we'll compare the 11 years of development to the 7 and tell me which one looks better. If you look at a game like New World, a game that was in development for 6 years and was originally a sandbox PvP game and shifted to what the game is now, well then, that is basically what you would get if Ashes of Creation just released. The majority of people think New World is trash. The same people who are in the comments telling me that after 7 years of development, Ashes of Creation is never coming out. Each patch, New World introduces more bugs to the game and they've yet to fix the base game and the bugs that came with launch. Their UI is crap, the biomes are not very very unique from one another besides the desert which is a newer biome in this all is not on the devs. This is what happens when you have a massive corporation such as Amazon pushing for a release of a game to make some money when that game is not ready to come out. If you gave New World five more years of development, it could be one of the best MMORPGs of the generation. And the bones are there, it just hasn't had enough time. So again, telling me Ashes of Creation is not coming out after seven years? Well, you are just wrong. And using that amount of time being passed as an excuse to justify a scam is not actually any evidence of a scam. Going back to Steven stealing your money, this man and his husband John, who founded Intrepid Studios, have put more than $45 million of their own money into the project. They bought a building for a studio and are now beginning construction of a second floor to the studio as the 122 employees they have hired have already begun to outgrow this brand new studio. 122 people that are on the payroll of Intrepid getting paychecks to support their families each week as they pour their heart and soul into the game. If one of these 100 122 people weren't getting paid or thought something was fishy at this point, somebody probably would have said something. And if Steven was trying to steal all of your money, he's doing it wrong because the amount of money that he has been putting into development of Ashes and the studio and paying for the employees is far more than they have made from just cosmetic bundles and Kickstarter in the past. Especially when a lot of these people are making more than six figures a year to develop this game. Then there are those who tell me that Intrepid can't deliver on what they have promised and that makes it a scam. Well, where is this shown? In the Alpha 1 state, we had a testing ground from the game that was far from complete, but had massive sieges functioning at, at pretty good performance before there was even optimization that I personally played myself. They had nodes functioning at the basic level, changing the world up through stage 3 as people progress within these areas. They have shown a season tech functioning in the game and changing up the world and the creatures around it. They just showed us the story arc system, changing the environment as world events are triggered, which are tied into no progression. We have seen caravans functioning in Alpha 1, and a lot of the core systems are actually there in some state and waiting for players to give their feedback on in Alpha 2. And if Alpha 2 comes out this year, runs for a year, and then another year passes to get the betas before launch, they still made a better looking MMORPG than Throne in Liberty, and in a less amount of time. The game has continued to show us amazing transparent progress on what they're working on month after month, bringing in new devs into the mix, giving us a glimpse of the studio, 
and giving us teases on what's to come in the future, and although it has had some rocky times, Intrepid Studios has always responded to the feedback of the players, iterating on what people are telling them, interacting with the community in Discord, all to try to make the best MMORPG that they can. So those of you out there continuing to talk out this scam shit, I know it's never gonna stop until the game is actually out and proves you wrong, but you should really make up your mind on what you think makes this game a scam. It can't be a scam for cosmetics and then be a scam because the cosmetics have stopped. Steven is not stealing your money for concept art as they've shown these things being put into the game as it's no longer concept art. If we're still in Alpha 2 in 7 more years, well, then you can talk about it if Ashes of Creation is never coming out. But with the amount of hiring we are seeing and the huge progress alone that the game has made not only in 2023 but since its initial announcement just tells me that Alpha 2 is going to be here sooner than you know it and will hopefully quiet some of this scam talk. If you made it this far into the video, well then I assume you're enjoying this content, so please help me out by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up to support the channel as we head towards Alpha 2. Otherwise, if you are new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can buy some cosmetics, jump in on the forums, or just hang out until you can finally step foot in the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.